Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Bob Connor here once again with another video and today we're going to be looking at the... Now I'm not sh actually sure what <laughs> what to call this franchise because it's the... Um, it's, you know, it's the... Um, you know... Um, Angio Banderos, um, you know, those the three movies that go together. The um, obviously the first one, the L uh, marriage. I can't pronounce it to be honest. Uh, the L Maria Mar Mara Mara Arshi or something. I'm not. I don't think that's right. Uh, because I know it's Mexican. Um, I'm, I'm really bad at pronouncing some of these uh, stuff. Um, and I apologise for that. But I have no idea uh, what that means. Or, you know, other than I've seen it. Um, and it's part of this franchise. Um, as I said, I don't know what to call the franchise. Other than the Banderos f uh, franchise. Because obviously the second one. It's called Desperado, and then the third one is called Once Upon a Time in Mexico. So obviously I can say those, <laughs> but um, having trouble saying that the first, other than you know, I just know it goes with these three movies, and it's the first one. And then Desperado is the second, and then uh, Once Upon a Time in uh, Once Upon a Time in Mexico is the third. You know. Uh, I didn't actually check to see what they call this franchise, um, you know, whether they just call it the Banderos franchise or what. I didn't actually check before I did this video, uh, so I might actually check and then upload it after I've checked. I think that's what I'll do. Um, so I'll do it, obviously I'm doing it now, the vid, and then I'll check to see what the name is. Yeah, because it's sort of, you know, because it's not like, it's not Desperado 1, 2 and 3 or the other title I can't pronounce um, you know because it's f three different titles for three different films but they go together um, you know that's why I got because uh, I'd seen Desperado uh, that was the first one I saw um, and then I saw uh, Once Upon a Time in so after and then I didn't actually see the first one uh, until I got this box set which is not a lot bad little box set free films. I didn't pay very much for it. Got it on eBay as I do my other stuff. I didn't pay very much for it. Um, but I just thought because it was all three films together and I wanted to get the thing, uh, you know, the other two films. So I thought, you know, get that as all three rather than as opposed to getting them all separate. And as I said, I'd only seen Desperado and Once Upon a Time it so previously. Um, now obviously it stars and well them two uh Desperado much put time star and Tony Banderas but the first one stars someone else. Uh I can't think of the guy's name and I apologise for that. Um but it's made by obviously Robert Rodriguez who makes a lot of uh, films. Um but obviously yeah. So you know oh yeah so this is a free they call this a free disc anthology. Um, set of all those three films. Obviously, the you know the other two star at Banderos, but the first one doesn't. Um, so obviously, it starts with a Elmer Shred, and it's you know it's a guy. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to go through everything that happens in the movies because we'll just be here forever, um, or like we'll be here for ages. Um, so obviously, the first one is getting to know the character. Basically, it's this guy. Who's uh, plays guitar? Um, however, he's someone who's got weapons in the guitar, and he sort of goes around and starts taking people out. Um, you know, when he gets into fights, and he starts using guns and stuff. Um, and it's pretty much the same. Uh, Antonio Banderas plays a uh, similar character. Um, I'm not actually sure if that. The guy that plays the first one in the first film is in... So I know it's the guy similar that looks similar in one of the other films. I'm not sure... I can't remember which one it was. I'm not sure if it was Once Upon a Time 
or Desperado. We see the, that guy, young guy. Uh, he's got no facial hair, um, and I'm sure I'm sure that's the same guy. I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, I didn't check the didn't check the name, um, but I'm sure, I'm sure that's him. But I'm not too sure anyway. Anyway, so obviously the first. Let's just go back to the first. Um, now. It's not a great movie, to be honest. Um, it's really, really short, uh, especially for a film. It's like I think it's like one hour and seventeen minutes, so it works out about just over one hour and ten minutes, and then you get lots of subtitles coming on. Um, so it's quite short. Uh, so a lot of stuff is rushed uh, through. Um, it's not very well filmed. I have to say, I think it was nineteen ninety two. Uh, when the first one came out, I think, uh, I'm sure, I think I did look, let's check, I think that says 92, can't, probably can't see it on the, the uh, that's quite, uh, de -de 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 -de. I think it says 92, let's check, oh no, it says 93 actually. I tell a lie, it's 93, oh, okay. So, that's two years before the Desperado, okay. I thought it seemed quite earlier. Um, because, as I said, it's not... It just doesn't look very well f uh, made. It just looks, you know, really poorly made. Um, yeah, as I say, it's quite short and it's just... <sighs> I don't know, the camera work is not great, it's quite rushed through, and it just doesn't look good, it doesn't certainly doesn't look like a blockbustery made film, you know, it doesn't look like, when you compare it to Desperado, that looks a lot more quality made, proper, you know, blockbuster film, but one is just barely made. However, there's, you know, it, it, it's, at, you know, it has got action in it, and... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not the greatest action scenes, but they're, it's, it, they're all right. And, you know, it's 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 not bad, but it's it's just not fantastic. Um, but anyway, let's, let's finish talking about one, because we've talked about one enough now. Let's move on to Desperado, which is actually really good, to be honest. It's a good, solid action film, and Banderas is very, very good in it. Plays a very good uh, character. And it's got some very uh, good action scenes in it. Um, and one particular scene that stands out is the bar scene, uh, where they discover he's got a stash of guns in his guitar case, and then all hell breaks loose, and he takes up a load of guys in the bar. I'm not sure how many guys he takes out, like maybe 15, 20 guys. He like, just uh, takes them all out in the bar, and it's a really good scene, and it, and it looks really good action. Um, I remember seeing it when my friend, uh, back in the day, showed me. This is going back phew, over 20 years ago. It might be like 2001 or something like that. I think that was when I first actually saw it, to be honest. It's like I didn't see it when it was come out in 1995. That was Desperado came out. I saw it like phew, at least six years after, I think it was. Um, and I'd see it when... My friend showed me the bar scene and I thought, yeah, that looks really, really good. Because um, he showed me another film, it's called Dust Till Dawn. Uh, I hadn't seen that before and then he showed me that. Um, and then he showed me the scene in Desperado and I thought, yeah, that looks pretty good. So then I ended up, I've seen it a couple of times after that and then many times since then. Like this is going back 20 odd years ago, like 2001, um, when I was many years younger, uh, not as old as I am now, uh, slowly approaching 39 just around the corner in a couple of months, so, you know, getting towards a big milestone, but anyway, going back to Desperado, uh, not here to talk about me, we'll talk about, here to talk about Desperado, so obviously, yeah, I think it's a good, solid action film, it's not too long, it's not too short, and I think, yeah, it's it's just all right, and it's pretty good, to be honest. It's, it, I can't think of anything wrong with it, to be honest. Um, there's no time where it's, it seems like it's boring or it drags on. Uh, you know, I think the scenes play out well. Yeah, and the action's good. 
yeah, and it's I think it's all right. And as I said, Bandaras is really good in it, and I think it's a good solid f uh, action film. Um, I'll probably say I think that's the best one out of the three, to be honest. Al although Once Upon a Time, it says really good as well. I've seen that a few times. Let's actually go moving straight on now to uh, Once Upon a Time, Mexico, obviously the third one of this franchise, uh, whatever the franchise you want to call it. Whatever. So, yeah, when I look to see what the franchise is called, maybe anyone could actually tell me, or if I'm just going to check after this, which I'm going to do anyway, do some research, which I always do. I do so much research, literally every day, like I'm just doing research on films, trying to keep up with all the latest stuff. There's so much stuff to get through and sort out. Uh, I'm always planning for these videos, so when you, when you see all these videos, it's all planned out, full ahead, you know, weeks in advance, it's all thought out. Um, what I'm going to do, I've all got it all stuff written down of what videos I'm going to make, and yeah, it's all planned out, thought of, um, and yeah, just like, just been working really hard, just trying to do all these videos. Um, and sometimes I get really exhausted um, and out of breath and it's really hot in the UK at the moment as well so sometimes yeah but you know I'm going to carry on and keep doing these videos for you guys as long as it takes and as long as I'm still on the planet you know I'm going to keep giving you these videos where we're going to be here for 20, 30 or 40 years it's, we're going to keep going I doubt if I'm going to be around for another 40 years um, 30 maybe, so I'm approaching 40 now, maybe be around for another 30 years, but I doubt it'll be another 30 years on YouTube, pretty much doubt it, maybe another, maybe another 20, I don't know, we'll see how things go, but anyway, <laughs> sorry about going on about my life, uh, we're here to talk about the franchise, so anyway, going back to Once Upon a Time, it's obviously starring Banderas again, you know, fantastic in this, as he was in the others, and also that co-stars, um, Enrique Iglesias, the singer, he's actually in this, I think this is his first movie role, uh, he's actually not that bad, and he gets involved in the action, um, and shoots a couple of people as well, so yeah, he does a few bits, he's not that bad in it, actually, I'm surprised he hasn't been in a few other films, um, he's quite young in this, I think it's like when he's first coming around, I'm not too sure. So it's made in 2003 anyway, uh, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. As I said, I've seen it a few times. Uh, I did get it when it came out on DVD. Uh, sorry, when it came out on original video, I should say. I had it on video back then, believe it or not. Yeah, videos were still going 20 years ago. Uh, pretty much not now. You can still pick VHSs up. Um, I've still actually got some VHSs lying around. Uh, but I always used to have VHS when I was younger. Um, I didn't actually transfer over to DVD until about... Yeah, 2002, 2003-ish, sort of, going into, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, back to this. Yeah, Antonio Vendis is fantastic. Co-stars, Emery Kerr Glazes. So, uh, I can't think of Selma Hayek is back in this. Yeah, she is, yeah. Uh, Salma Hayek, yeah, because obviously she's in the second one, Desperado, and she's back in this. Yeah, it's that co-stars Enrique Iglesias, and also Johnny Depp is in it as well. Um, he's, he's not bad in it, he does his bit, takes out a couple of guys. Um, unfortunately he ends up getting blind in it, um, and he has to shoot people um, with the aid of a kid, telling him where to point the gun at, and then, yeah, takes care of business. Obviously, Antonio Beres does his thing where he takes out bad guys in his style, cool style, which is good. And yeah, it's it's a, it is a generally good third sequel. Um, other than I just don't think I enjoy it maybe as much as Desperado. Um, yeah, maybe don't think it's as good, but it's it's still good. Um, it's probably only slightly less better than one. Let's 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 put it this way: three is better than one, and two bits as well. Uh, but I'd say I'd say two, three, one to be honest. Uh, so best to last. So two, three, and then one. Quite quite easy to do. Um, but yeah, it's, it's I think it's a solid good third sequel. Um, and the action is pretty good. I think it pans out quite well. Uh, the time is not bad. It was about 1.30. 1.30, 1.35. Uh, 
Which, I don't know, maybe the time could be a bit short. Maybe it could do with a little longer, maybe 15 minutes or so. But, you know, other than that, it's quite a good solid action film. And it's it's alright. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe some of the scenes where there's chat, maybe it does go on a bit too long. I'm sort of thinking it maybe pans all towards sort of uh, Johnny Depp's scenes a bit too much. It's going away from the main star uh, Banderos, but yeah, you know, it's as I said, it's all right. But I don't think I enjoy it as much as Desperado. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to call it with this time on that now. Uh, I'd just like to do a very f brief chat about all the movies. Obviously, I don't like to go and everything that happened in case anyone's watching this and I haven't seen them and want to see them. But yeah, if you like these. Uh, three films who've seen any of them, Desperado or Once Upon a Time, let me know your thoughts and comments, what you think of them, uh, or whether you've got this, or whether you think you should get this. I would recommend getting this if you want to get it. Um, you know, it's, get it on eBay or Amazon or wherever you want, but I'd, I'd say eBay. eBay's the best place to get cheap DVDs. I'll probably pick this up for about... <sighs> you might have been able to get it for a fiver. Um, it won't be more than a tenner, but, uh, yeah, um, yeah, try, uh, place to get stuff, Music Magpie, uh, World, World of Books, uh, I think there is one, um, there's sort of one that sells them in a charity shop that some, I buy a lot of DVDs from. Because, um, you know, when they're selling stuff, it's, obviously when you're buying them, the actual money is going to charity, so that's a good thing. Uh, I think always buying from charity places is a good thing as well, because the money is always going to good calls. Yeah, and so I just search, but yeah, I think that's going to be it, because this video is 17 minutes long, way too long for just doing three films. So guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more vids, and let me know your thoughts in the comments, and yeah. That's going to be it for now. Uh, take care. Bye for now. See you on the next video.